Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow. And we are back between two Yetis with Darren Matfin. How are you, sir? I'm excellent. How are you? Ah, oh, day two. It's uh, 12 hot. 18. Been here for a couple of hours. Stinking hot. It's Miami. It's Miami. And uh, have you been to the beach yet? No. No, we're here to work, Daryl. What about you? Work. <laughs> Miami. That is very true. Tell us a little bit about yourself, because you're with KVH now, right? I'm been with there KVH. Year or so. Yeah, I've been chasing the marine industry for the last 20 years or so. Yeah. Doing electronics and chasing VSAT and watching what's coming down in the pike. And KVH is a 25-year-old company with mm -hmm. a lot of history and a lot of boats, a lot of OEM product. And we've been uh, we've been pretty successful uh, building some great to VSAT antennas and TVRO product. Well, what is KVH though? I mean, you guys just do the antennas, right? That we see in the domes on the boats? Well, we're actually a true end-to-end -end provider. So uh, uh, for better or worse, we, we build the, we manufacture all the products in the US. Mm -hmm. We provide the service to the antennas and uh, it allows us to really control the customer experience from beginning to end. So a lot of other providers might say, uh, well, it's the modem's fault or it's the antenna fault or it's the provider's fault. From our solution, we can actually control it from start to finish, and if there's a problem, it's our problem. Uh, Are you the only guys that do this? We're the only company in the world that does end-to-end so -end solutions. why would anyone buy anything other than KVH? Well, uh, there's some topics that we could go over, of course, but uh, you know, some of the things we hear all the time is nobody wants to be locked into a contract, but um, one single source provider. The, the many, many region, deferrals to that but you know look at Apple right Apple's a very locked in contract and yeah, how many yeah. of us are carrying an Apple product so uh, 90% the, of us the, the, <laughs> there's, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of value in being an end to end provider and um, we take it seriously and if it is it's we call it one throat to choke right mm -hmm. so if it's our fault we own it and we make it right for the customer that's very very cool so what's new coming out for KVH obviously you guys dominate the area around here. What's new? I mean, I see a little badger that says yeah. Dream Fast Without Limits. Dream Fast Without Limits. Because I was always shocked at how much internet costs on boats. Like, some people are telling me five, ten grand a month is your standard base package. Yeah. Is that true? That's true. Jeez, true. and that doesn't give you a lot. That's not. That's like much lower than your home connection, right? That I pay a hundred bucks for. Yeah, yeah, hundred bucks gets you a lot at home for sure. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> uh, we're also not going twenty-three thousand miles up and twenty-three thousand miles down and throughout the uh, infrastructure of the world. So um, the, the, the new technology is, is it's a high throughput satellite technology. So it's a brand new couple of satellites that were put up by Intelsat. Right. Uh, we're one of the first providers to provide service on the network. It's uh, high throughput, 10 megabits per second by three megabits up. Um, and it's a new territory for KVH because we're offering some unlimited data channels. Which is very unusual, right? It is unusual. A lot of times when you do a pay-as-you-go, but the way the high throughput, the way we're providing our network now is we're doing a, a, a high, uh, an unlimited channel for crew and for, for owner's usage, as well as providing a high-speed channel for charter or a, or a private channel to the owner or, or for charter guests. That's very cool. Um, <clears throat> a great way to do that is now the yacht owner has a... Uh, fixed cost throughout the year of what they know they're going to spend on VSAT, what they're willing to commit to spend on VSAT. Yeah. Uh, and then when they sign a charter or the owner's on board, they have a pay-as-you-go channel that's 10 megabits per second. The guy gets, uh, at the end of the week, they can section out a bill. It works out to where the, the charter guest pays a certain amount of money for high speed, or they can offer them an unlimited channel for, for usage on board. Wow. Yeah. It's, uh, that's amazing. A lot, a lot of flexibility. We also have... Uh, uh, in terms of uh, company-wise, we've got some flexible channels. So if they want to be three months a year, they're active for three months a year. They're active, and if they're they're not active, sitting at the dock. They don't have to pay us anything. Yeah, that's very cool. So you guys are the market leaders, would you say? We do pretty well. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of competition out there. It's all fair and love and war, but you know we we do pretty well. How many satellites are up there? A lot, right? Thousands. Really? Thousands. Thou and it's 23,000 miles up and 23,000 miles down. Yeah, all the, the new stuff that's coming is all the LEO stuff, low Earth orbit satellites. You're going to start seeing that in the next two years. Is so that because it's all too crammed up there? They have to come a bit lower, No, right? well, distance, right? So you've got latency. It takes a long time to go 23,000 miles up and 23,000 miles down. So Amazon, O3B, Google, uh, Tesla, you know, Elon Musk, all these guys are putting their low-Earth orbit satellites up that are only 25 miles up. So right. by the 2020, you're going to look up and you're going to see a glimpse of silver in the sky because the 
So really? Each one of those guys is putting up a constellation of 7,000 satellites apiece. So you're going to have uh, four companies at 7,000. you got 28,000 satellites that are all going up in the next two years um, that will change communication on the water forever. Huh. And that can only be a good thing, though, right? Or is it just yeah. going to get too much? It depends on if you want to see silver in the sky or not, right? Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Constellations well, of satellites. Const satellite constellate. You'll never see the stars anymore, then, no? You might. You might. That's the price of progress, I suppose. Well, well Darren, hey, tell me what you guys are doing. I want to hear about you guys. No, no, no. I'm, I'm the interviewer here. <laughs> I know, but I want to hear about you guys. <laughs> well, we'll tell you off camera. People want to hear about you. But, <laughs> All right. Uh, Dale, thank you very much for your time. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you around the show, okay? Thanks, Kev. Appreciate it. Enjoy yourself. Are you about your first wife at all? No. Come on. I'm married with kids. I have a beautiful wife, beautiful family. We could get into that, actually, because you, where did you start in the marine industry? You said you've been in it for 20 years. Yeah. But you started, like, doing the wiring on boats, the oh, like, yes. technician stuff, yeah? I uh, started in uh, Seattle in 1998 and uh, chased the big boats to Florida in 2004. And... Uh, I've been down here ever since, but doing more of the uh, installation, sales, service, integration, audio, video, navigation, yeah. radars, and uh, I've done that for 15 years and started my own company doing some project management and some uh, lead gen generation, social media marketing, and mm -hmm. uh, got into a little bit of what you guys are doing now, and, and uh, KVH approached me late last year to try and help them with the new product. and. It's a good fit. I'm so you've been happy. around. You've been. You've grown up around boats, then, right? Yeah, I was born and born and raised on the water. Are you originally from the West Coast, Seattle? I was born in California, Bay Area kid. What do you prefer, California or uh, over here? I like it over here, but it's very flat. You know. I yeah. Like, I like some mountains. Yeah, I there's like no some, mountains. And I like some hills, and I like to ride a motorcycle every once in a while. I don't necessarily like to do it here because it's scary. It is fucking dangerous to ride a motorcycle here, yeah. isn't it? No one yeah. wears a helmet. Everyone goes a million miles an hour, and no one can drive. Yeah. It's awful. I would never get on a motorcycle in Florida. No? I wouldn't recommend it at all. But you would over in California? Oh, hell yeah. Everyone's just a little bit more relaxed? You no, know, there's just one lane roads. You know, there's nobody else on the road with you. You come around a blind corner, you get hit, but, you know. Yeah. That's a risk, I guess. It's worth taking because you're doing, you're doing it at some speed, right? Oh, yeah, you're having sure. some fun. That makes sense. What do you, should we talk about politics? No. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll do the sign off again. So, Daryl, enjoy the show. Have a good one, sir.